All right, Oxy 4 Max 380 Heli. Just a short little review. I've had it two, three years now. So, give my final thoughts on it. There's really not much else to say. Um, it's been a great heli. Still have it, so it must be good. I didn't sell it. Uh, it's one of my favorite 380s I've ever owned. Um, the only thing I will complain about is just the rear servo mounting. Not that bad. And you can still get to the horns and undo them. I do it all the time. you got to take this servo out to get this one. You can run a screwdriver in through there. Same with that side. Um, I'm running the cheap motor star, rotor star motor. Works very well. Um, what I've never broken. I've never broken a mainframe. I've never broken the lower frame. I've never broken a skid. I've never broken the swash. I have worn it out where I had to get the new... They sell the nylon part with screws. That wears out. I've never broken a head. I've never broken one of these swash links. I've never broken a link or a main grip. I've bashed them up. You will bend these little screws in here. They're just two millimeter screws. You just buy them. And these bend in a crash. You can see I have deformed the aluminum on the edge where this folded up. Damaged it slightly. But it's still workable and it's 90 degrees to the, to the um, rest of the grip. So it's good. You'll bend booms, obviously. They're aluminum. They're pretty cheap. Uh, I've never broken this rear block. None of the idler wheels. Never changed the bearings in anything. Never broken a belt. Never broken a main gear. Never stripped a main gear in this heli. And it's been through a lot of crashes. Um, so that's pretty cool. It is a sturdy heli and it is light still. It's not a line 470 light. It's just like a few ounces heavier, an ounce or two. Um, never broken any tail grips or dog bones or the pitch slider or the rear, rear tail box, which I can't say the same for the Protos 380 MSH version with the aluminum tail box. It's single sided and bends and breaks bolts. Never broken a tail fin. This is the original tail fin. I think it's two and a half or three mil carbon. It is insane. You can see I've smacked it good. Still never broken it. Never broken a pulley or the idler. Um, bent shafts, obviously. Um, what more is there to say? These are original tail blades. So you can see they've been through uh, hell and they still run smooth and well. Uh, I've never broken a. Uh, one of these, what the hell, tail slide, um, <laughs> uh, tail push rod, thank you. Um, so how can that be? How, what's, you know, what's the deal? How, what does break on this heli, if anything? Here's what breaks. Super, servo arms. And you will bend swash links and pitch links. That's it. If you're doing more than that, you're an animal. I don't know what you're doing. You're crazy. Um... This is the shape of my canopy. This is how many crashes. It's been, this is the second canopy, too, so I had to reinforce it with epoxy and fiberglass inside. It wasn't even holding the shape. I might sand it down one day, repaint it, use it, because it's still usable. It did get a little heavy with the epoxy. I went a little crazy with the epoxy and fiberglass. It's, it's narrow, and it's hard to do. It's hard to do internally. So I could try and sand it with a... Long Dremel, I don't know. I have another one waiting. I've got the canopy mounts, the magnetic canopy mounts on this one. I like those. Um, the bodies are they're pretty strong, though. They're really nice. The thick uh, fiberglass. I mean, this there's nothing you can do. You go nose into something. I mean, it's just it's not going to... The weight of a heli. So this fiberglass is so sticky, everything sticks to it. The resin, it never dried. That's the Bondo resin. It's really shitty. Don't use it. So this thing in the air is... This thing I sort of got is more visible than my, my, my Kraken. Or what is that thing? Kraken 580 Nitro. with It had that uh, flat red and black theme. You can't see that thing 10 feet away. It was ridiculous. I can see this thing farther away than that damn 580. What does that tell you? This is a little 3D. I'm not exaggerating. I'm, I swear to God, I can see it farther away. It's just the shape. 
the colors or they just absolutely pop well not as much anymore but they pop in the sky they're bright um what more is there to say you can put your fly bar on the bottom on the top you can put it on the tray you can put your esc in the tray put your esc under this tray uh all batteries fit up to 1800 i don't know if people are flying 22s 2200 million that's kind of big um fits the micro servos you can put a um you can put a mini or a micro server i got the micro here works just as good on this little guy so uh changing the main shaft dead easy they also revolutionized the way the main gear and hub is pinned to the main shaft now if you've ever owned the line 470 you know you'll bend that screw in there and it's a bear to get out but this design it uses an aluminum aluminum female part that the screw threads into so it doesn't wallow out your main shaft and hub and then your allen bolt screws into that and it never gets stuck and it never wallows anything out and this is the same one and it hasn't stripped out or anything so it's pretty durable pretty durable good design and you can just feel this thing too it just feels like it's just crazy feeling even the i mean it's just it's so solid with this i don't know what is that a square boom i guess i'd call it rectangle boom it's just ridiculous solid feeling it's nuts just i, I don't know how it's so light it weighs the same as my proto 380 the v2 skinny version skinny boom version which looks like it'd be lighter it's not so it's pretty weird um never broken one of these either anti-rotation tab never broken a ball off stripped the ball never broken the anti-rotation pin it's, it's pretty amazing these are things i break on other helis that that have had less of crashes than this so that's pretty good this one's way easier to wire than a proto 382 you just go down the frame it's got little cutouts in there Put the wire and it's protected from the belt you won't hit the belt it's impossible you know you can just run these here you could run them up plenty of room i don't i don't really care to hide my wires that much i like i like them to be easier to work on take things apart put them back together i don't care about the looks um, another thing for the canopy mount it's doubled up it's got the carbon breakaway so you won't break your frame if you rip this off but i've never ripped one of those off the frame stiffener is pretty cool around the motor. This is all doubled up. Got the washers here holding the, the aluminum motor plate. So everything's it's just very well designed. Very well. Never broke or bent a upper or mid or lower block. Those are the servo and main shaft blocks. Um, the skids are amazing. They do pop out when you crash hard. Um, you just pop them back in, screw them tight again. No big deal. Pretty revolutionary in their two piece. So, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Um, you don't hear about the 3Ds. They got really popular when, God, when the Proto 3D came out and the Goblin 3D were out and they were competing. Man, were 3Ds hot then. You just no one's talking about them anymore. I don't, I don't know what everyone's flying these days. Everything a little bit different. I mean, some of the more popular ones are the LMP M2 and M1s and all that. People are flying those like crazy. They're just so cheap to get into and durable and great flying. But man, when the Goblin 380 and the Line 470 and the Proto 380 come out, it was like a war of uh, the three helis there. And people, you know, they would defend their brand to uh, to their death. It was pretty interesting. Um, I like them all. I don't care. I like my Goblin 380. I like my Align 470. The tail sucked. The tail belt sucked. The main gear sucked. The tail boom sucked. And the tail ratio sucked. The tail wasn't that good. But it was still it was still a fun and good flying heli other than that. I'm not of the uh, skill level to always, you know, worry about tail blowouts and stuff. Um, but the cyclic on it was pretty nice still. And it was such a good bargain with the motor and servos if you got the combo. With the B stacks, it was it was a good heli. I learned a lot on it. Cheap cheap parts. I don't like how a line. It's cheap parts, kind of. Um, like they had the the. 
what was it, the skids, they were five or six bucks, but they would break on small impacts. So you're always changing them versus this. I've never changed it. And these are more expensive, but I've never bought any. So, you know, the tail shaft on the uh, 470 was from a, was from a uh, 450 size heli, so it was tiny and it would bend easy. Um, the ratio stunk. And the way they packaged the pivot here on this, you had to buy the whole damn thing with bearings and all. And it was really expensive. It came with other parts. It's like, why? You know, so the, the myth that a line is always cheaper, and yeah, maybe to buy, but not to maintain. Um, it's just not. Main gears would strip all the time. Now, how's it all that those main gears would strip? Well, they were from the 450 size. Uh, the tail belt was made out of a rubber band on the 470 line. It would break all the time, just a small touchdown on the tail, and you were breaking the belt. Versus this, it's never broken. And it's been through bent booms left and right, so it tells you a lot. Um, I didn't have any swash problems on the 470. Or these arms were fine. The grips were fine on the 470. The aluminum grips were uh, pretty pretty weak, and I think they had the, one, the arm that wasn't replaceable, so they were kind of shitty. I stuck with the plastic, and they were far better for me. Um, the frame on the 470 was fine. Never broke one of those with a battery box or anything. It did have a battery tray in the 470, which I don't care for in 380s. It's kind of annoying when you're switching between helis. Um, I was going to have only one 380 between the Goblin. Now it's the Buddy. I, I've never had one, so I can't say. But I don't want one with a $30, $40, $50 boom. I don't want a 380 that costs that much. So I wouldn't get one of those. The Proto 380, I have two of them. They're nice. Um, I haven't really crashed it, so I don't know how durable it is compared to this. But I think it's terms of wiring, workability, durability, and the way it looks in the air and handles. I think I'd still go with this over the, the Proto 380. I only have two of those because they I used to get them on sale. They were You could get them for like, what, 150 140 on different sales, Thanksgiving sales, when XL Power redid it. So... Um, so they're a pain to wire, though, that Protos. One thing I will bitch about on the Oxy, tiny links. Because these are from their Oxy 3 series. And I, I think they, I really think they should have. I'm always breaking these a lot in crashes. Like where other helis, they will pop off and survive and not bend. These will bend and crack all the time. They're tiny. Does it matter? Is it sacrificial in saving other parts, maybe? Uh, it might be. It might be. So who knows? Maybe it's better to have them this small. They are tiny little links for a 380. Other than that, man. Oxy Max. Oxy 4 Max. 380 Heli by Lynx. Awesome. Pick one up.